Manhattan TV. We've got a really cool show in store for you tonight. In just a little while, Marilyn Manson will be here to share some thoughts with us. We've also got an MTV premiere from The Cure and brand new videos from Tori Amos, Paul Westerberg, Universal Honey, Howling Maggie, Guided by Voices, The Amps, Nancy Boy, and Golden Smock. Plus your favorites from Sparkle Horse, Cast, Tracy Bonham, The Mr. T Experience, and plenty more. Let's get things started off with the MTV premiere of Rage Against the Machine's new one, Bulls on Parade. For those of you who didn't know, Rage vocalist Zach used to be in a Krishna core band called Inside Out, who had a single on Revelation Records. It's still in print, so you can go look for that. Also, two other bands that are cool that are on that tipper, Texas is the Reason and Shelter. Anyway, keeping with their style, the new one carries a serious political message, and once again, these guys are questioning authority like they have always done so well. Here now is the first video of their second album, Evil Empire. Here's Rage Against the Machine with Bulls on Parade, new on 120 Minutes. Hey, welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield. Sitting next to me are Twiggy and Marilyn from Marilyn Manson. Good to have you guys on. Thanks. Good really to, be here. to have you here. Let's talk a bit about how you, the band started. Uh, you're from the Florida area. Now, down there, I mean, recently, I mean, there's bands that have been signed, like Four Squirrels and Seven Mary Three. But, um, I mean, the, basically, there are parts of Florida that were known for death metal. I guess maybe the Tampa Bay area. Um, you were from South Florida, though. Tell, how, when you guys formed, were you pretty much a reaction? Would you say you guys were a reaction to that, or it really was just totally irrelevant to what you guys were doing? I guess in a sense, um, we, we formed uh, right around the time uh, Two Live Crew was getting arrested. So I think in the beginning, we were uh, kind of testing the boundaries to see what we could get away with. So our shows were uh, just more over the top than they were even music on, I think, uh, first couple of times. You know, it was, uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, illegal things going on, drug use and oral <laughs> sex and children in cages and things like that. On stage. Cool. But then, then we wrote a couple songs and we put out a record and here we are. I actually Excellent. was in a death metal band at one time. You were in a death metal band at yeah. one time, actually. What was the name? Do you want to mention the name or you want to leave it to it? Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. So you had a couple big hits out, actually, at that time. It was a, it was a really little death metal mm -hmm. intro. Well, we'll be talking more with the guys from Marilyn Manson in just a minute. Right now, we've got the first video from former replacement singer Paul Westerberg. His second solo album is called Eventually. Of course, the replacements are a major influence, influential band. There's bands out nowadays that are very successful have a sound like theirs. Here's Love Untold, new from Paul Westerberg, 120 Minutes. He used to work with Iron Maiden, right? <laughs> He was on a couple of their singles. From their debut album, Magic Basement, that is the Canadian band Universal Honey with Up Front With You. I'm Matt Pinfield hanging out with Twiggy and Marilyn from Marilyn Manson. And, uh, tell me, uh, you know, that's a great name, obviously, Marilyn Manson. I really like that. It's kind Thanks. of putting together the, the, you know, the pop culture of, you know, Marilyn Monroe could be anything. And, of course, the, the Manson family from the legendary 1969, um, you know, West Coast Tate LaBianca slangs. How did you come up with the name and what made you decide to use that name? Cause Both those people stood out to me as a kid growing up as, uh, you know, icons. And uh, uh, six years ago, the, the name just came to me because it, it represented uh, what I was writing at the time and what I, how I felt my personality, you know, what it stood for, just uh, the dichotomy of uh, good and evil and uh, male and female and just the the gray lines, you know, know. Beauty and violence and, yeah. you know. And so. Or sex I, and violence, maybe, is more like it, right? What, you know. Yeah. Get to calm down. Okay. Yeah. Right. Work there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just went with that. Cool. So, how, so you were playing around the Florida area for a while before you actually uh, got, you know, put out the first record, Portrait of, American, of an American Family, and got together. How did you guys end up hooking up with nothing and, and Trent? Um, I'd met Trent a long time ago, and uh, I think it was uh, right around the same time the band was forming, and he just kept in touch. We'd always been friends, and uh, he called me up and, and told me that he was at the Sharon Tate house when he first moved in there, and he'd known that, uh, you know, I was always interested in seeing that place, so I went out there and uh, started talking about uh, making a record, and, you know, he really was the only person at the time that would support what we were doing, so. Right. Yeah. And it's cool that he did, and uh, 
it's, uh, it, it's, it's paying off in a very artistic and way. A lot of people are finally hearing about the band. You know, it's cool. Stick around because we'll have more with Marilyn Manson and later we'll be checking out their latest video for Sweet Dreams. But fa first, yeah, here's a look. The top 10 singles on alternative radio this week. <laughs> Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, hanging out with Twiggy Marilyn from Marilyn Manson. That is a cool video, by the way. A great song as well, a Thanks. remix. Tell me a bit about making that one. Um, well, there was uh, midgets, and they were painted orange. Yeah. And uh, that's all I remember. Cool. So it was, it was, it's, the song was uh, written about drugs, and it was uh, recorded while on drugs and uh, a video was shot with everybody using drugs also. So it really was consistent then in that way. Yeah. Great. Um, but speaking of, uh, <laughs> Smells Like Children is a, is a new record, and uh, there's a lot of great covers on there, and there's also like some of your original stuff too, like the remix of Dope Hat. Um, you come up with some great covers on that record. There's a Patti Smith uh, song, which I don't know if I can really mention the title of it, because people might be offended and take it wrong, but it's a great song from originally from her Easter album, which is just a killer, uh, full-on punk version of that. You did uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins, Put a Spell on You, and so you read Sweet Dreams, which we're going to see soon. What made you decide to cover those three, three tracks in particular? Just, just... After doing Portrait, uh, we had said so many things on that record that uh, people were taken back by, and, and it was... Uh, it was tough to decide, well, what, what do you do next to, uh, you know, really get people's attention. I thought doing something like I Put a Spell on You, which was like a, a love song almost, more about obsession, I thought was, was something new. And uh, Sweet Dreams, I thought, you know, what could be more shocking than, than, than something like that. Yeah. And the Patti Smith song, it's just with uh, political correctness these days, I thought, you know, no other band's going to do that song and put it on a record, you know, that... Like, like smells like children, so I thought we had the duty to do that. Yeah, I thought it was cool that you did that too. And plus, people misinterpret everything anyway. You know what I mean? Sure. Exactly. Right now, we got the latest from the Columbus, Ohio band called Hal and Maggie. They were discovered by Greg Dooley of the Afghan Wigs, and they have a song, "The Beautiful Girl" soundtrack, which they also appeared on. Here now from their debut album is their first video, "Honeysuckle Strange," is the album. This song is called "Alcohol," and it's new in 120 minutes. <laughs> From their debut full-length album, All Change, that's cast with All Right. It was a big hit in England back in 1995, and it's hidden here now. But you know what? Let's talk to Marilyn Manson, because they're here. Twiggy and Marilyn are here, and I'd rather deal with them at the moment. So what's going on? Good to have you here. Thanks. Let me talk a bit about uh, some of the song titles. What I love about, uh, besides the music being really cool, is some of the humor in the song titles and just references, as in the name of the band, to like older things, like uh, kind of like Chitty uh, <laughs> Chicken Gang Bang and things like that, and you know the uh, reference to Happiness is a Warm Gun in the one track as well on Portrait. There's, a, there's a, also a song uh, that Twiggy uh, had on a mini cassette recorder that uh, Scott the last time, peanut butter. Yeah, last time we were on MTV, uh, he played that, and everybody wanted to know what it was, so we put it on the uh, on the album. Cool. Did it's, you know, Matt, that I masturbated on a uh, fruit basket in front of uh, your Kennedy? Yeah. Did you realize that was? That? I think that was in New Orleans. Yeah. Did she you? wasn't involved at all. She was there. Right. I see. And there was someone else. Kind of like this. That projecting. It was actually in a gymnasium. Oh, really? See, we had the um, there was other stuff on the on the uh, CD that we had to take off. Uh, including uh, that guy Tony Wiggins that performs right. the acoustic guitar track right. because uh, he tried to uh, kill somebody from Interscope Records and uh, 
They got I'm very upset. And so they had to so take basically, off his material. he said, "Look, man, you're not going to be on here then." Yeah. They thought it was not really the right thing to do. Well, we've got more with Marilyn Manson on the way, and after the break, we'll take a look at Would, the latest can I jack video. Off Sweet on the, oh, oh, I can't say that. No, don't worry about it. Don't go away. Sweet Dreams is coming up. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and this is Marilyn Manson. little scene from Lunchbox there. Richard Kern did that video for us. He's more famous for his pornography, but... He Why, what are some of the titles of his, uh, of his porn oh, He's uh, famous for those Lydia Lunch movies, like Fingered and uh, some of those. Right, he did some stuff for Lydia there. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Those movies have been available kind of like on the underground for a long time. Right, cool. So uh, we're going to actually show the video for Sweet Dreams in a minute as well. Tell me a bit about making that video, because it's really compelling, and it is definitely the uh, kind of the... You know, the iron to the original Sweet Dreams. So dealing a little more with what's said in the verses, as, as you know, I've heard you say before, that, mm -hmm. you know, lyrics can be, t you know, looked at a little more closely than it was just in the original pop version of the song. Yeah, I always heard it as more of a darker song that uh, people interpreted it. So I guess the video just visually followed the way that we were presenting the song. It was a bit darker for you know, the VH1 crowd, but... <laughs> Well, I think it's That's cool. What like. Yeah, exactly. It's very cool. It's a great video as well. Thanks. And uh, tell me a bit about the concept with the video. There's stuff going on there, like coming up a hole and, and, you know, the pig and everything. Was it direct directors brought in some of those ideas as well? or was it some, Yeah, some yeah, the, yeah. He came to us with a lot of great ideas. Um, that the, the video was just uh, a lot of uh, nightmarish uh, sequences, so uh, a lot of it's better left unexplained, I think. Yeah, it's good. It's better that way. And, of course, it's, you know, you know down well that it's... It's scaring a, a lot of children out there. From the EP Smells Like Children, here is Marilyn Manson with their version of the Eurythmics Sweet Dreams on 120 Minutes. i 
I'm Matt Pinfield hanging out with Marilyn Manson. I've got Twiggy Marilyn here with me tonight, and this is the second 60 minutes of 120 minutes. We've got more with Marilyn Manson, plus in the next hour, while brand new videos from Guided by Voices, The Amps, Nancy Boy, and Golden Smog, as well as the latest from Tracy Bonham and more. Right now, it's an MTV premiere from The Cure, and this is the off their 11th album, actually, Wild Mood Swings. It'll be released on May 7th. It's a really compelling video. The song reminds me of Caterpillar from the album called The Top. You might remember that one. And uh, this is The Cure, the MTV premiere of the 13th. I never know, I honestly don't know at, at the time what's influencing me. I, I can look back on all our records and I, I can pick out threads of, of the things that I was either reading at the time or people that I've met, conversations that I've had, or, and I kind of put it in the musical context. I know something that I've listened to at the time. I, I can sort of hear influences, but never contemporary influences, so I always make a point. Whenever we're around the period of demoing, um, and just at that point of like of getting the songs together for the next project, I, I always make a point of not listening to what's going on at the time. We're usually for about six months, so that I'm not going to suddenly like change tack and think that's great. You know, let's do a dance album. Mm -hmm. Your label debut, The Burdens of Being Upright. That's the Boston based uh, Tracy Bonham, of course, with Mother Mother. Her mother's in it here on 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, your host, and this is Marilyn Manson. I'm here with Twiggy and Marilyn, having a good time tonight, hanging out with them. You have the new record coming out called Andy Christ Superstar, which uh, you're, pretty, you're, not, you're pretty much half done with it, at least, right? Or three quarters at this point? Yeah, it's a uh, weird circumstance. It's, uh, the record kind of looks at. Uh the future and the past as being real similar, 1969 and 1996 being uh, a lot related. And uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, astral projection and experimentation went into making this record. So a lot of uh, the messages are a bit futuristic. And to us, they come from what would be the past, but a lot of people will see them as a future. And it's, it's a dark record. It looks about uh, the end of Marilyn Manson and everything else as we know it. Right, so I mean, because you say 69, 96, 69, of course being the year that really like the Woodstock generation where everything got like, knocked on its butt by the, uh, you know, like we said, the Tate LaBianca murders and Manson murders, Altamont, you know, just mm -hmm. all the chaos of that year. So you're saying it's kind of... Right, I think we're, you know, in the same kind of circumstances. Woodstock just happened again, and uh, I think this record Maybe we'll do uh, the same thing that the Manson murders did to America, hopefully. Okay, great. And uh, so you're recording that in New Orleans, too, with Trent as well, right? Yeah. In the studio there. Yeah, we're down there uh, trying to piece it together. Cause Ray Sawyer from Dr. Hope tried to come in and bust in the studio ever? No, but if he does, he, he'll be welcome because, uh, after all, he, he did write the song that uh, on the cover of the Rolling Stone, right. which mentions um, cocaine use and uh, sex with underage girls in the first line, and so... Which I don't think. Both. Well, nothing could be more controversial than that. So anything that I do it pales to that. It makes me look like Corey Hart, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I want to thank you guys for coming by. Twiggy, man, it's great to have you by here, and uh, look forward to Antichrist Superstar as well. We'll right. be hanging. Next up is a Dayton, Ohio band, Guided by Voices. This is off their 11th full-length album called Under the Bushes, Under the Stars. Here's the official Iron Man Rally song, brand new here on 120 Minutes. <laughs> 